I have very sad news. The Omaha bar owner that was charged in the shooting of a Black Lives Matter rioter has ended his own life after being charged by the state. Now this is an egregious and horrible story for a lot of reasons. The main one being, this man should have never been charged. He was an owner of a bar called Hive, and that's a great name for a bar, that's a great name in general, I have a lot of respect. But they charged this guy for self-defense. You see, a, a crowd, a mob of Black Lives Matter agitators and belligerents came to his bar and were threatening him, were threatening the bar, were probably gonna smash it up and burn it down. So this guy came out of the bar and he, you know, he had a weapon. He was saying, get out of here, I've got a gun, leave. And they refused. So one of the Black Lives Matter activists attacked him and he shot him. Clearly a case of self-defense. If somebody comes after your life, you have a right to defend your own. But it wasn't that way to the left. They demanded that this man be charged. Well, originally, the, the state didn't charge him. They didn't because clearly it's self-defense. But they bent the knee to the radical BLM leftist. And guess what now? The man, that rather than go through all of this trouble, go through the courts and maybe even get convicted, for murder, which it was not. It was not murder, it was self-defense. He decided to take his own life. Here with Cassandra Fairbanks, breaking. Omaha bar owner charged for killing rioter that attacked him and his business has committed. Uh, you, you know, you know the rest. He ended his own life. I mean, I'm really bummed out, folks. This is a hard one for me to cover, but we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna do some digging. We're gonna find out how the state messed up and why Black Lives Matter needs to be held accountable for what they've done. And we're gonna talk about the baloney and nonsense that caused all this. But before we do, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell button for notifications for updates on more content. The media is not gonna talk about this. The news won't talk about this. And the democratic establishment and the left are not going to talk about this, but I will. So if you like this video, if you think what I'm doing is valuable, please also share this video online, post it on Reddit, post it on like Twitter, I don't care. Post it somewhere. And normally I would call out a sponsor, but I just don't feel like it. If you want to check out my sponsors, you can. There's Hero Soap Company, there's Premium Headphones, and there's Virtue Signal, a card game. That's all in the description if you want to look at it. But let's continue with the story here. So here we are on the Gateway Pundit. So the bar owner, Jake Gardner, was indicted by a grand jury on counts of manslaughter, use of a firearm in the commission of a felony, attempted first degree assault, and making terrorist threats? Are you kidding me? Who is responsible for this? The grand jury? I want these people all dragged out of their homes and put back in the court, but not as the jury, not as the judge, not as anybody but as the criminals. And then it clarifies all of this happened after intense political pressure was placed on the city. All because of these radical leftists, and that's what they are. Let's be honest. It is not conservatives. It is not right-wingers. It's not even liberals. It's the radical modern left. The district attorney had originally ruled it was self-defense and that was a good district attorney. He was right. Why did they bend the knee to these violent extremists? This is why he's gone. On May 30th, the 38-year-old confronted a group of rioters outside one of the bars he owns in Omaha and was knocked to the ground. Yeah, they physically assaulted him. They were going to take his life, so he defended it. That is self-defense. Quote, from there he fired two warning shots. See? Two warning shots. He warned them, back off. You ever seen that meme? I, I gotta find it, because I gotta show you. It, I'm a libertarian. I'm a little bit of a hybrid political theory guy, so technically I'm like a, a, a right-wing center. But it's a perfect example. So the meme goes like this. It's a snake on a pile of grass, and it's coiled up, swagging its tail, rattling, and saying, don't tread on me. The idea behind it is that you don't mess with me and I won't mess with you. However, what a lot of people don't realize is there is a second part of this. People actually believe that like if you're a libertarian, that means that you don't believe in like self-defense. You don't believe in force. That's not true. If you step on the snake, the snake will bite you. Ah, that's the idea. Now the left will, they're, they're always making their stupid memes if you can call them memes where the snake is getting stepped on right and it's like oh 
at least it's not the government. And it's showing a bunch of uh, like corporations stepping on the snake. But in reality, if you step on a snake, it is going to bite you. I believe in self-defense. You mess with the snake, you get bit. It's the same thing as you play with fire, you get burned. So after he fired two warning shots, prosecutor said, uh, Gardner got into a fight with one man afterwards, James Scurlock, 22 years old. The two scuffled before Gardner fired a shot that killed him. Yahoo News reports. Now, there's this little clip that's currently circulating of Jake Gardner, and I haven't watched it yet. This is the first time that I'm going to watch it, but apparently... This shows us the kind of person he was. Let's roll the clip. So can you just tell us your name and where you're from, sir? My name is Jake Gardner. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. And then Jake, uh, what brings you to, to DC? I'm here for the inauguration. Okay, I understand you were a volunteer for the Trump yeah, campaign? Yeah, I was a volunteer for the Trump campaign in Nebraska, California, and Michigan. Okay, and um, what do you think about what's going on here today with the Women's March? Uh, you know, these people just want to be heard, and it's it's a very appropriate venue, a very appropriate weekend with all eyes on them. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's kind of crazy being in the belly of the beast here with my, my Trump gear and my Make America Great vest on my dog, you know, and uh, all the dirty looks. Everybody loves the dog until they read the vest, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, everybody just wants to be heard. And so that's what they're doing. They're not being violent. There's not there's not even that issue with this group. Do you think they're justified in some of their criticisms of the new president? I do. I mean, I, I everyone's justified in their criticisms. Uh, you can't tell anybody what they're entitled to feel on any level, you know. And if somebody feels that this is something that's going to get in their way, I... I I can see the, the women's rights argument against uh, the, the conservative right with Mike Pence being the vice presidential choice. You know, Donald Trump is a very left-leaning social kind of guy. You know, he may be a conservative with government, be shrinking the government and have a lot of plans uh, on, that, on that front, uh, on the conservative side. But socially, he's, he's libertarian, as libertine leaning as it goes, I think. And so... I think a lot of their criticisms are, they're going to be proven wrong, but they certainly have the right to speak their mind. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate. I normally don't play like a full clip and I'll, I'll interject and I'll, I'll talk about what's going on, but I feel like Jake Gardner, the least I can do is let his voice be heard. This is what he had to say. And this is just one clip. I don't know if there's more, but this is the one I found. He seemed like a sweet guy. He seemed like a guy who could understand that there is people who believe different things in him, but that's okay because this is America and people have a right to be heard. Unfortunately, that's not what the modern left believes. Modern Democrats, modern leftists, and these activist groups like Antifa and BLM, they do not believe in free speech. They do not believe that other people get to have opinions. Unlike Jake Gardner, who tried to stay away from violence, it looked like. They believe that anyone who's not with them must be destroyed. And this comes right after a Black Lives Matter activist wearing a Justice for Breonna Taylor shirt walked into a Louisville bar and murdered three people. Okay, first of all, people on the left are ignoring this story because when a Black Lives Matter activist executes two white people and one black person, it's, uh, it's not important. It'll make them look bad. It'll make Antifa and BLM look bad. Well, too bad because I'm gonna talk about it. It's right here in front of your face. And this was a politically motivated attack. In my opinion, it was. Now people are saying, well, there was one black victim, so doesn't that mean that it's not politically or racially motivated? Not necessarily. He may have been shooting white people, he killed two, and maybe he shot the black man by accident. Maybe they were police officers, who knows? But what I do know is that the media is not talking about this. And this happened at another bar, Bungalows Joe's Bar and Grill. People in the comment section are voicing their support and their sorrow. And, you know, the top comment here, I just really, really want to highlight it. Donald Mack says, this is awful. When is enough enough? Why can't a white man defend themselves anymore? This is everything. And I'm sure that other commentators, especially the lefty commentators, maybe a certain beanie commentator would say something like, I don't know. But I think we do know. I think we do know exactly why a white man can't defend themselves anymore. This guy was also a war veteran. He was a war veteran. He fought in Iraq. Jude says, Murdered by Frederick Franklin, the assistant U.S. attorney who brought the charges after the district attorney ruled in self-defense. Rest in peace, Jake. The insane left killed you. 
We're living under the reign of terror of Black Lives Matter and left-wing activism, and it's about time we call it out. It's about time we spoke the truth, and it's about time we stood for real justice. And you know what? I know they're going to celebrate this on Twitter. I know woke Twitter is going to celebrate this. Another bigoted Trump supporter gone. Doesn't matter that he was a veteran. They're going to celebrate. They're going to say hurrah. They're going to say another right-wing troll gone. These are evil, evil people, folks. I mean, I don't know how to describe them. Bad? At the very least, they're bad people. So I hope his family sues. I hope that people stand up for this man. I hope people are outraged. Because I am. And I'm, li I'm livid. I really am. But that, my friends, is the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you want to support the channel, Join me on Patreon, join me on Subscribestar. Joining will give you access to a private Discord server. If you want to donate, you can donate on my donor box page or send me crypto. You can also visit my merch store or one of my sponsors. You'll be sure to find something you love. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.